the motor um, from the diverter valve when it's uh, still attached to the pin on the cartridge. So here's a short video covering that topic. Um, so here you can see you've got the motor arm attached to the pin and there's a ball on the end of the pin that mates into the motor arm. So it's really just a question of angling the motor down to remove it from the socket on the arm. Um, this motor's got a steel pin, as you can see. Some motors have a, a black plastic pin. I'll now show you how to do this on the boiler itself. And just pause the video for a minute. So here we are in the boiler. Um, we've put the boiler in central heating mode, uh, turn the electricity off, disconnect the cable, undone the nut. You'll know you've put it in central heating mode because you'll be able to pull the motor out a little distance as the arm's extended. If, if you can't pull it out from there, it's in hot water mode and you'll need to switch it into central heating mode. So the next thing is disengaging it from the pin and really it's just a question of turning and applying some pre downward pressure. As you see, it'll just drop out and there we are. That's out and obviously it's just a reverse process of putting it in, lifting it up to connect onto that ball. That's it, simple as that.